Okay, here in the garage is total chaos because I'm planning my my conduit situation on the roof for our tilt system. And I've laid out all the parts I already have. So coming from this side, from this side, going here over the gutter to our inverter. Okay, anyway, I've got it all written down. We have to go to the hardware store again, just around the corner. What a beautiful winter weather. It is freezing! Morning. Thank you very much. Have a good day. So, here's the situation. One, I can't see shit here with my shadow. So, one cable is coming from here in a conduit, going all the way to this T section. And the other cable is coming from this pair of panels, going to this T section as well. And then all the cables are going that way here over the gutter down along this beam and directly to there where we will mount the um, inverter so this was a bit of a thought process as well to um, either mount the inverter here on one of the tilt frames under the panels and have only short um, solar cable connections and then have the 230 volt cable going back to the switchboard or alternatively mounting the inverter under this pool pump roof there as well and connect all the solar panels with longer DC cables back there. So I decided to go in with this solution there um, just because the inverter is far more protected there. It sits under the roof, out of the weather, in the shade while up here it can get really hot in summertime then. So um, both solutions have pros and cons. From a pure energy perspective, it would be actually better to mount the inverter here on the roof and have only the 240 volt cable going back instead of all the DC cables. We have more losses on the DC cables then because the current is just higher. But I also thought about the micro inverter. I like to have it there. So yeah, that's a 50-50 decision basically. Ah, okay. it is far too sunny in sunny hot Australia here. Guys, welcome back. Oh, well, this is this is not an endorsement or anything or any advertising or something. This is just. Guys, welcome back to the off-grid garage here in 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 sunny hot Australia. In the middle of winter, we probably have like 28 degrees here on the roof. Bloody wind is there again because I make a video. No, don't leave any comments. I won't put up a wind generator here. Not doing it. Not doing it. I also brought my Brinko pipe cutter. I know it's usually for copper pipes, but it works for these conduits as well and makes a nice and clean cut. So I'm trying to uh, reuse, recycle the cables from the old um, solar system here on the roof. They left all, all the material here, as I told them to do. And well, this cable is just a bit too short. Comes out here and then I potentially could use it, could put, uh, crimp some MC4 connectors on here and connect the solar panel. But um, I really want to have this all connected up here somewhere under the panel then. Not down there. This is just too short. Just. What can you do? It's all right. We keep this one for another project. I'm sure. I'm sure we will install more solar panels in the future. Yeah. Try right, the second pair. Same. About the same length. So. <laughs> <laughs> can't win i've got new cable here but i um, was trying to recycle the old one first but now nah, it's too short just a bit too short and this one is even further away oh i'm making a shadow here not good well the uh, the apprentice the apprentice would cut it somewhere somewhere over here right <laughs> 
But because I have paid for this cable, I'll cut it shorter, I'll cut it here. So I've got both cables here. I'll just cut off one cable here on one side. <laughs> the cable is only eight meters long and I forgot <laughs> which one I have pulled. <laughs> Alright, that's the one here. Let me do the same here. Just cutting one piece off so we can identify these two cables. One is panel one, the other one is panel number two. Easy as. And we don't want to forget the green yellow. Here I'm actually happy to do a connection in here from both sides, from both panels, and then we are going to the switchboard. So why would you, um, you would ask now, why would you, why would you earth these panels here or ground these panels because they are only like. 50 40 volts 49 volts or something you should you should basically earth everything which is somehow connected to your electrical system there could be a case that your inverter is faulty and puts 230 volts onto your panels system still works and then you come up here to clean the gutter and you touch the panel or the frame and well it's done right so that's why we are going to earth the frame and the tilt system so in case of a fault our rcbo or rcd turns the whole circuit off I forgot the pipe cutter. <laughs> yeah, double exhaust for the Tesla. <laughs> okay, I want to show you what happened. We've got a bit of a traffic jam here with a 25 millimeter conduit. I should have known before that this is not going to work. I tried in the garage with an offcut and four of these solar cables and it just fit. But I didn't think about the earth cable, which is a four millimeter cable. So it's a fairly thick cable actually. And this all together, these four cables plus the earth cable. <sighs> nah. Okay, we've now got um, 32 millimeter and we have to replace this whole string there. Put all the cables back, put this one in and we should be good. Good to go. Once again. <laughs> Well, nobody said anything. We have forgotten the saddles. Okay, we've got the cables here on the roof now. We need to cut this pipe, put another T section in there, then combine everything, pull the cables left and right, and then we are done. It's already be a clock. Look at the sun is... Oh, the sun, yeah. So, um, the sun. So, the, the back row is in full sun still. It is around, um, I don't know, three o'clock or so, maybe. Yeah, about three o'clock and the front row the front row would be a bit shaded at the moment here slightly shaded but you can see where the shadow ends there of the tilt system and the panels will make a bit more shading because they are hanging over so they're hanging over on the top here so the shadow will be a bit longer maybe until there so it shouldn't affect these two panels until 3 30 or so and then the sun is fairly low anyway and um, I think we are getting sun again on these two panels then. I think there is no shading at the moment here actually. The shading, 
the shadow is up there. So we have full sun of all four panels now. It looks like it's working out. Well, tomorrow we will see. <laughs> okay, let's do this um, cabling here because um, I'm, I'm very thirsty. Always straight. Because um, this will be our little riser here coming from the, from the bottom conduit and going into this one, to this elbow. I hope it's the right length. I'm not 100% um, convinced. It's a bit hard to reach there, so this is more like a guess. Oh, come on! Oh, I think it fits. I think it fits. Jeez, there's a bit of work out here. This double bend. Okay, I think it fits. Now we're putting the cable through the straight pipe until the junction box there and then it's all good. All right, my friends, we are almost done. We've got the cables in from here from the pool pump shelter all the way across here without saddles of course without it's temporary fix up here over the gutter to this t-section and then we go to this row of panels and to the back row of panels have our earth in there i need to connect them here I'll do this tomorrow and then we can put our mc4 connectors on these cables and on the other side as well and then the inverter can move uh, into this um, shelter area there. I'm not 100% sure how to mount it yet, but I think I will only mount it to the fence. So there will be no, no back plate or something. It will be open on the back for better cooling. And this is actually an ideal spot there because there's wind everywhere going through this um, location there. So this is actually perfect for this inverter, I think. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your great support here on the channel. Especially all these wonderful and beautiful people who have donated money so I can buy a beer Which I will have in a minute and until the next video guys tomorrow when we finally Connect everything here Hopefully Andy 2 comes around or someone else gives me a hand with these uh, remaining three panels Get them up here on the water tank on the roof then we mount them I should have all the clamps here. I should have everything here MC4 connectors. I have I've got the um, earth clamps for the rail system. I've got earth washers here for the solar panels. Everything looks good. Who knows? Maybe it's another drive to the hardware store to get more cable duct. <laughs> okay guys, until tomorrow, stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye. It's an electric planner. Someone is planning a door or something. I'm just, I'm just editing this video. And before Matt comes again with his grammar, spelling and pronunciation police shit, I know it's not a planner, it's a planer. It's a planer, not a planner. Planner, planer. This is the same word. It sounds the same. It looks the same. It is the same almost. So why would you do that? This is not my language. This is this is all far too complicated here. I should make this all in German here. It's much easier. Planer, planer. Who gives a f